Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna respond to MTV Decoded, and I'm pretty sure they have some reasonable arguments right now in this video. The video in question is called, Why There Are So Few Asians in Hollywood? Gee, I wonder if the video creators actually answered their own question in the video. Asians are still only in 1% of Hollywood's leading roles, but make up 5% of the American population. Thank you so much for answering your own question. I guess I'll go right now. Goodbye, take care, adios, hasta luego. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Wait a second. Just how long exactly is this uh, video? Oh my god, this video is six freaking minutes long. I suppose that this response video is going to be really long. Imagine if you went to see a movie about Elvis Presley and the producers decided to cast Steven Yeun with no explanation. That would be weird, right? Well, the inverse happens to Asian Americans a lot. Actually, Fanny, I don't have to imagine it. There are real life examples of this. For example, there was Ghostbusters. It was all male, and now it's all female. Another example is Rush Hour. It was all male, now it's all female for the reboot. One final example is Store. He was once male, now he's female in the comic books. In other words, diversity for the sake of diversity already happens because people like you keep pushing this idea. There's a major difference between organic diversity and forced diversity. Organic diversity is when you have characters who are naturally divorced, but it's not a political message, whereas forced diversity is the opposite of that. It does not make any sense to change an entire character's sex or race just for diversity's sake. It does not make any sense to replace a character's race or sexuality for the sake of diversity. It makes more sense to create original characters who are interesting, who happen to be diverse. In case you weren't alive in the past few months, you may not have heard that the film Crazy Rich Asians made a lot of money and left many Asian people in the movie theater <laughs> crying their eyes out. So why did a film about someone marrying a really rich guy have such a big impact? Well, Hollywood has a history of whitewashing films, meaning not only do Asian actors often get overlooked for parts, many roles that are based on Asian characters or actual Asian people are given to white actors. I'm kind of curious, Fanny, just why you're not complaining about this idea of Asian washing. Asian washing is this idea of Asian people playing Western characters or Asian people making movies based upon Western's ideas. For example, in 1992, Clint Eastwood made a movie called Unforgiven. However, the Japanese remade it into a movie about samurais. Another example of this is the Akira Kurosawa film, Strono Blood. By the way, Strono Blood was based upon William Shakespeare's Macbeth. One final example of this is the movie Yajimbal, which took ideas from the novel The Glass Key. You cannot be upset about this idea of whitewashing if you're not equally upset about this idea of Asian washing. I mean, God damn it, nobody should share stories because that's culturally appropriating stuff. Whitewashing in Hollywood is a huge problem. I mean, at this rate, if you want to see yourself on screen, you might want to be white. Do you, though? You must be a really, really sad person to prioritize race for everything. Like, seriously, I'm a freaking black person. I don't really care about visual representation. And the main reason why I don't care about it is because I care about character and story and plot and music and other aspects of movies way more than some idea of race because ultimately in the end race does not matter to me what matters to me are those things that make movies really good okay let's take a look at asian erasure in hollywood asian erasure is a process in which hollywood takes roles written for asian characters and gives them to a white actors instead of asian actors so basically, our dudes are getting wiped out before they even hit the screen. It's kind of like the same concept of the Japanese people adapting Western stories for a Japanese audience. Funny how that works out. You think this is the same country that had Japanese internment camps or upheld the Muslim ban? It is. <laughs> it's tough times for the Asians out here. <laughs> but Trump's travel ban is not a Muslim ban, not in the slightest. 
The countries include Venezuela, Somalia, Yemen, Iran, and North Korea. Tell me this, if it was really a true Muslim ban, why would Muslims from other countries that are not part of that ban list are able to travel to America? But if you're unfamiliar with whitewashing in Hollywood, here's a few examples. You get what I mean. Some of the movies that are listed are just so ridiculous, I just don't know where to start. For example, it's just so bizarre to list Blade Runner 2049 as an example of whitewashing. The main reason why I say that is because basically the characters in the movie are mainly white and the whole entire future setting takes place in Los Angeles. Not to mention the idea of Blade Runner is not Asian at all, but rather American. The idea of Blade Runner comes directly from Do Androids Dream of Electronic Sheep? They also listed Ghost in a Shell as an example of whitewashing. Like seriously dude, are you serious? The main reason why Ghost in a Shell is not an example of whitewashing is because the freaking character is a freaking robot. Not to mention this idea of dystopian futures do not have to be in Asia, they could be anywhere, and not just Asia. They also listed freaking Power Rangers as an example of whitewashing. Tori Studios gave Saban permission to create Power Rangers based upon Super Sentai shows. Power Rangers and Super Sentai are completely different things and completely different animals. What is so ironic about this is that Power Rangers have diverse rangers every single season. So again, why are you complaining about this? Recent study found that the number of directors of Asian descent in the 100 highest grossing films of each year saw virtually no change over the last decade. And only 34 of the 1,000 films surveyed had an Asian director. Meanwhile, in Asian countries, the filmmakers there are like 99% Asian. You said it yourself. Asians make up 5% of the population. That's a pretty small minority. When it comes down to it, Asian people have self-determination. There are some Asian people who want to be filmmakers. There are some Asian people who don't want to be filmmakers. And obviously, Asians have a choice of whether or not they want to be filmmakers or not. Just because there are not a lot of Asian filmmakers in America does not mean that's evidence of racism. Not to mention, one of the most famous directors in this country is actually Asian. His name is Ang Lee. He made movies such as Brokeback Mountain, The Life of Pi, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. By the way, he won at least three Oscars for those three movies. How can an Asian director win that many Oscars and racist America? So what are Hollywood's fun excuses for whitewashing movies? A lot of execs choose the popular financial excuse that there aren't enough Asian stars to lead big productions, and they need those white stars to make back their giant budgets. I already responded to you guys' comment about Ghost in the Shell. I am not going to repeat myself. For example, Rupert Sanders, the director of Ghost in the Shell, said the reason why he cast Scarlett Johansson as a Japanese character and then used CGI to make her look more Asian is because she's the best actress of her generation. And then Max Landis, the screenwriter of that same movie, said, There are no A-list female Asian celebrities right now on an international level. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Actually, on the contrary, there has been many international stars who are famous and happen to be Asian. Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and Sonny Chiba are examples of famous actors who happen to be Asian. As far as female actresses are concerned, the most famous one that I know of is a person named Michelle Yeoh. She has done movies like Super Cop, as well as Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, as well as Memories of a Geisha. So again, just because there are not many famous Asian people in America does not mean there are no famous Asian people internationally. What is preventing Asians to be successful in movies? And by the way, all of Scarlett Johansson's star power didn't keep Ghost in the Shell from bombing big time at the box office. Ah! Uh, do I really have to explain the obvious? First of all, the main reason why Ghost in the Shell did so bad was not because of Scarlett Johansson. The main reason why Ghost in the Shell did badly was because people do not like anime adaptations. 
When people think about anime adaptations, they think about stuff like Dragon Ball Evolution or Death Note from Netflix. The only real good anime adaptation that I've seen so far was Alita Battle Angel. And oh my god, that movie was so fantastic. I urge you guys to see it. Apart from Alita, the vast majority of anime adaptations from America, they suck major balls. This thing is so obvious to me because obviously the movie did not fail because of Johansson. It failed because people don't want anime adaptations. Look, clearly a lot of excuses at this point are just plain bullshit. Does anyone really think Doctor Strange made significantly more money from casting Tilda Swinton as the ancient one in the film? That's a character that was an Asian man in the comics. And Nick Fury was not a black guy, he was a white guy in the comic books. I find it so funny that she's complaining how the Asian actor got robbed out the role for Doctor Strange, but not the same thing for Nick Fury for the movies for Marvel. It's almost like there's some sort of double standards. A recent study at UCLA found that films with diverse leads produced higher box office numbers and also had higher returns on investment for studios and producers. So looks like it pays to put me in your movies, specifically me. That is not true. That is not true in the slightest. The main reason why Black Panther did so well was not because Black Panther had an all black cast. The main reason why it did so well is because many people want to see Marvel movies for the Avenger movies. Besides it being a Marvel movie, another reason why Black Panther did so well was because many people were interested in the story. For crazy rich Asians, the main reason why people were interested was because of the story and not because of the race. Movies like Us and Get Out did so well, again, not because of the black cast, but because people were interested in those horror stories. Correlation does not equal causation. The main reason why people see movies is because people are interested in concepts. It does not matter if you have an all diverse cast or something like that, if the movie has a really bad concept, it will flop. For example, although Marvel comic books are pushing diversity, the comic books are not doing so well. Unless there's a good concept underneath that diversity, nobody will want to see it. And if you're not Asian, maybe you're sitting here like, why does this matter? Exactly. It doesn't matter. This is exactly a first world problem. If you ask that question because you're racist and you're just here to troll us, I can't wait for your comments later, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, let's paint all the critics of your videos as racist because obviously the people against your videos must hate minorities, right? It is not because they actually have positions against your arguments. Oh no, it's because they think that their race is superior to yours. I don't really care about this race crap. And matter of fact, I'm completely colorblind by the concept of race. Oh, wait a second. You guys made a video against colorblindness. Motherfucker. Man, these people, they confuse me. But for the people who actually want to understand, you're cool. Let's talk about what effect this has on the Asian American community at large. First off, when you don't see yourself represented on screen, this discourages young Asian talent from getting into the biz in the first place, perpetuating the issue of talent rising up even further. Second off, seeing yourself and your story represented is huge. For a little insight, when I first saw MIA rapping on stage, I lost my sh to me, it showed me that brown girls can be strong and badass and cool and not just stuck with being either Jasmine or a frumpy dump like this guy told me once in high school. Shout out to your boy for that one. <laughs> you have to be a really, really weak person to say that. Like seriously, I've seen movies and TV shows growing up with no black characters. I've seen white characters, I've seen Asian characters, I've seen Hispanics, and guess what? I'm doing pretty well myself on my YouTube channel with 17,000 subscribers. Oh my god! I cannot make it in life because I've seen no Asian people on screen! That's just stupid. Like, 
Who the hell really thinks this? Like, seriously, I never saw this while growing up. Like, oh my god, there's no black people. That means I can't do anything I want to do. Like, how weak do you have to be to do this kind of stuff? Like, to think this kind of stuff? I wouldn't say the trends are changing, but we've definitely seen a few improvements in the last few years. Like The Big Sick, which centered on an Asian American story, and Star Wars, a huge blockbuster that featured major Asian American characters. You chose Star Wars The Last Jedi as an example of good Asian representation. Oh my god, it does not matter how many Asians there were in that movie because ultimately the people who seen that movie, myself included, think it suck major ass. No amount of diversity can save that movie if the concept was just terrible to begin with. No one deserves to feel like they don't count, but erasure of people of color on screen does exactly that. Plus, it looks like diversity in film may actually turn out to be a big financial win when done right. Translation, you need more diversity in films because it brings you the big bucks. I'm sorry, I have enough of this, just no, 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 no more of this. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler